Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you this productivity app called Notion. I will be sharing with you how I use it for planning, specifically for planning content here on my YouTube channel, on why you should try it, and some ways to decorate your Notion setup. I have a link to the video below on how I created and designed the Notion setup I'm currently using. Go check it out if you want to watch it, get some ideas. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Notion is an application that allows you to create pages where you can take notes, manage your tasks, set goals, plan something, and more. And at the same time, you can be organized with all of its features that you can utilize. I can also say that it does increase your productivity. Actually, I'm using it right now to write what I'm going to say in this video, so yeah. Here is just a quick Notion tour from my previous video. I created individual pages for my academics, YouTube, personal, and goals page. I compiled them, then used the link to a page option here in my dashboard page. By the way, as I told you earlier, I have a template for this Notion setup. You can customize and decorate it with whatever theme you want. Now I will be sharing with you how I use Notion in my YouTube content planning process. So I've been using it way before I started my YouTube channel. I've been using this to plan my content because it simply organizes your ideas on each pages. So this is my YouTube page and I use this a lot. Like in every video I uploaded or those you have watched, I use Notion to formulate or make drafts for my title description box in short all of the planning starts here on notion and as you can see this is my youtube page so i will show you the parts i included here and here on the side i have a checklist i also have here a notes portion so if ever i have some reminders for a particular video i can just put it here under it is for my description box I used a toggle option so it will not look too overwhelming once I opened the page. I can view or close this part and with that I can conserve more space. Next is this toggle option which I named flow. So I added here my talking points for the video and divided it into intro, body and outro and I made sure I used some bullets and sometimes I do color code the chapters I would include in the video. Then after editing the flow, I will proceed to the tags. I usually search my tags on TrueBody. So in case you're also an aspiring content creator or you're already a content creator, you can use the extension for this tool. So here in my tags section, I also divided this to those tags I will place on YouTube and under it is those with scores. I also added a comma after every tag so that it will be easier for me to copy and paste directly to the video. I just divided them with this colored line as my divider. And for the last part, I included here this motivational code. And yes, that is how I basically use Notion for planning content. So I hope you got some ideas. I just created a template so that whenever I will plan a video, I don't need to create or make again and again the page I will be using. I will try to link down below a detailed video or a guide on making a template on Notion. So now I will be sharing with you some of its features or the things I like the most in this app. So first, Notion lets you organize anything. You can literally plan anything, your goals, and more. Just a reminder, you don't need some aesthetic Notion page if you don't have the time or it's not just your personality. Notion already offers you built-in templates in any field. They have some for students, marketing, engineering, and more so that you can simply start organizing and plan your tasks. Second, it works on any device. I'm a huge fan of the sync features of any apps. And I'm so glad that Notion also has this feature. Just make sure your internet or Wi-Fi is turned on and it will just do the work. Also, you can use it even if you're offline, but it will not sync directly. So just turn on your Wi-Fi to have the information appear on your other devices. 
This app is not complex. I can say that it's beginner and student friendly. If you think you will have a hard time using this app, I will tell you this is so easy to use. And if there are times you don't know how to do something, you can effortlessly search some tutorials on their YouTube channel and learn something. Fourth, I like that it is customizable and just stay tuned because I will show you ways you can decorate your page. I will not make an in-depth tutorial in designing my Notion page, but if you want to have a copy of the template I'm currently using, I have a link of it below in the description box. Lastly, you can easily share your template with anyone. And they also have a team collaboration feature where you can share your page and let your colleagues or groupmates work with you. And for the last part, I will show you some ways to decorate your Notion page. But first, you should think of a theme in mind. Are you into pastel theme, some minimalist vibe, black and white, or do you want earthly tones or shades of brown? I suggest that you visualize your desired Notion setup first so you will know what photos to include or colors you will use. Choose a style that you want to appear on your Notion page. By clicking on the three dots in the corner, you can choose to change your font. They have here the default font, serif or mono, or you can also use small texts on your page. And if you prefer a full width where you will be able to maximize the space, you can turn on the option or disable it. Next is to add a personal touch on your page. You can place your preferred profile picture or background photo. You can choose an emoji that represents the page you're currently working on. So if you want, they also have an option to upload your photo or just add a link to it. For the background, they have some default photos or, or again, you can just upload it or add a link to the image. They also have here an additional option where you can use images from Unsplash, you can look for the photo you want. It can be a place, an object, etc. Then just click on the photo. You can also reposition it with how you want it to look like. Next is to add some title for your page. You can name it as your dashboard or home page, goals page, university, or anything you want. Now let us proceed on the ways or on how you can customize your text. So first is to make use of the headings or the header style. So to enable it, press on the diagonal line, key on your keyboard, and type H. Then you can now choose the header style you want to apply. I also like that you can easily add a table of contents. Just click on the line again and type the table of contents. Then all of the headers included in your page, headers, styles, so one, two, three, will automatically appear here, which is very useful, especially if you use Notion for note taking or for organizing some stuff. Next is to add some color. Just highlight them and click on the letter A icon. And you can now choose here the text color you want. Or you can either choose if you want a background color for your text. Since just clicking on the A icon will not allow you to use the two options at the same time, the trick here is click the six dots on the side, then click on the color option. And here you can add a background color for your text. Or another method is to interchange them. Highlight the text to add the background color and click on the six dots to add the font color. Next is to change the font style. You can use the mark as code option on a text. It will look like a computer style font and you can also apply a font color and background on it. We have here other choices where you can darken the text, italicize, and apply underline. Next is to use background color as a divider. Click the six dots before a line. Choose the color option and pick the color you want. You will now have a color divider, but they also have a simple division or divider. Just press the diagonal line on your keyboard, type divider, and click on the option. If you want to be extra, you can add some emojis to the colored background. If you want to add a column to your page, click on the six dots again, so this is before the space or the line, then drag it to wherever you want to add a column to your page. Just make sure that a vertical blue line will appear to indicate 
that you can add a column there. So this is useful if you want to view the contents of your page directly or it can also serve as kind of a schedule for your class and etc. Use the gallery list view to show some aesthetic photos of some pages you want to include on your page. Click on the diagonal line, then type gallery. Pick the inline option to have these blocks of photos. You can now edit it and add some background photos by clicking on a page and choosing a cover to show the images on each page. Click on the three dots, then click on properties. Choose the card preview option, then click on page cover. You can also choose a card size you want, but I will just stick with this medium size photos and you can also customize it further. What I also like here on Notion is that you can add some widgets. Search indify.co on the web or you can click on the link down below. Once you open the site, you can sign up with your Gmail account and they have various designs here. So to use it, click the create widget button. For example here, I choose the clock widget. You can select the clock type you want and it will show you on the side a preview. Pick the time zone of your place. You can also further customize by enabling or disabling some of its options, change its color, and have this dark mode. Once you're happy with how it looks, copy the link of that Indify widget, then open Notion, paste it here, and click the Embed option. You can add as many widgets as you want, and you can also resize them. You can add some photos, click on the diagonal line, then type image. You can either upload one, embed a link, or choose from Unsplash. Lastly, make use of the other elements or options. Just press on the diagonal line and they will provide you with different menus that you can use for customizing your Notion setup. And you can also add here some pages and stuff. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I would like to thank Notion for sponsoring this video. By the way, I'm really sorry for being MIA this past few weeks. Glad that our first quarter tests are done. But schoolwork is just... Yeah. We'll still try my best to upload every week. And by the way, we reached 70k subbies. Thank you so much guys for the support and thank you, thank you so much. That's all I can say. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching. And see you on my next video. Bye guys!